Gracias por ver la esquina de Jody. Thank you for watching Jody's Corner. YouTube was good. It's your boy Jody Joe. Welcome to Jody's Corner. I am officially here with the man, the myth, the real legend, Rona Joe Gigi. Hey, game is terrific. Thank you for having me. What's up, play? You know, bro. You know you had to be here for this. Hit. Oh, I did. Yeah, I, I wasn't gonna miss it. It's the second highest viewed video on my channel. <laughs> Shout out to y'all hitting me up, man. I didn't forget. You know, just busy and stuff, life and work. So I'm here. I made it. We here. We it's gonna going talk down. it. It's yes. gonna go it's down. Going down. Stephen King, man, all day. So, any expectations before we get into the trailer? Any expectations from the trailer? Did just, you? just a little opinion wise, and a little bit more of the tone. That's just it. Penny wise. Yeah. Oh my god. All right, fine. I gotta see Bill Skarsgård in action. Just enough, not too much. So. Okay. Okay. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the it. Trailer reaction. Tight. When you're a kid, you think the universe revolves around you. You think that will always be stand by me, right there. Right here. I get a stand by me seal. Then, one day, you realize that's not true. Because when you're alone as a kid, the monsters see you as weaker. You don't even know they're getting closer. Until it's too late. Yeah. Oh my god. His eyes, oh my god. My grandfather thinks this town is that cursed. Evil in those eyes, bro. That all the bad things that happen in this town are because of one thing. An evil thing. Bill, if you will come with me, we'll float too. His oh, eyes are cocked, bro. Wow. They're cocked and yes, they're I evil, do. bro. Oh my god. What happens? Cocked when evil eyes. Goes missing? Oh, or one of us. Oh, Are you just gonna pretend it isn't happening like everyone else in this town? Oh, if we stick together, oh, we win. People with clown phobia can't see this film, bro. <laughs> Bruh. I like the little cameo they had in there from the original It. That was pretty dope. Bruh. You'll float too. Man, hey, shout out to showing uh, paying homage to uh, Tim Curry, the original Pennywise. That was cool. What was the homage? In, the, in that room with all the clowns and stuff. Oh, okay. They had the, the It from 1990. That was pretty dope. Nice little quick fan service in there. He's over in the corner. <laughs> he was in the corner chilling, just you'll float too, Georgie. Oh, come on, Georgie. I want to. I want to give a special shout out to whoever the, whoever is doing the eye work for that clown. Oscar, Penny, those <laughs> eyes, bro. No matter where I see those eyes, they're terrifying. They those are. yellow, hazy. Sometimes they were cocked. He had cocked, bro. Ain't nothing. And, it's it was, already, and the scenes were in broad daylight, so you can imagine what happens when it's gonna exactly, be Exactly, bro. That's it's already looking at somebody who got those yeah. cocked eyes in, in real life. Imagine an evil clown with the cock. Come on, bro. 12 foot tall. I'm good. Bruh, bruh, <laughs> man, bruh. That's, that's another level of hell, man. That's crazy. Oh, gosh. Um, it looks like there's gonna be a lot of jump scares in this film. With, Which you don't really like those, do you? With the, I don't mind them. I just, I, I, I like. Time. You don't want that to be the focal point of the yeah, thrill, right? I, yeah, I don't like that. It, it's, it's about inconsistent timing. The, the jump scares. If you're gonna do it, they gotta be earned. You know what I mean? Yeah. 
because like you're this, already it's, it, you. I'm trying to get what you understand what you're yeah. saying. If you get hit Somebody with a jump scare, a bag of ice cubes. Oh my god! No, that's weak. If, if, if it's you cheap. get, if you, but yeah. but that dropping of the bag of ice cubes can work if you already built tension. Correct. If you, if I'm enthralled in the story, right. if I'm already scared because of the way you're right. delivering the film, and then something is something as minuscule as a bag of ice dropping will get you to be like, ah, because right. bruh, me. Yeah. That happens to me. It's ways to because you got to take the attention from what you're alluding to. They, you got to. James Wan's good at this. You have to trick the audience, but they can't know that they're being tricked. See, horror yeah, is like a game like of chess. It's yeah. just like you need to really, when it's pre when it becomes predictable, we're automatic. Well, horror friends are automatically out of it. I hate predictable movies. Yeah, and it happens in suspense, so you can relate yeah, to that. Yeah, yeah, you yes. see something coming. You're, you're yes, narrating the film. Exactly. That cannot That's happen a problem. in this. That's an automatic fail that happens in this movie. But we could give the benefit of the doubt because this is Stephen King. True. Story wise, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. The character, the narrative is gonna feel. I can feel the tone already through the trailer. I can feel it. Okay. Even though nothing was happening, we're getting like these vibrant imagery of like beautiful, dark looking cinematography. That was enough because again, you know, the it story is more character driven anyway. I mean, it has a supernatural sense to it, but it's about these kids at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. And the reason we're gonna be scared is because we care for them and we know that they they're not gonna be able to win this fight. Yeah. So. You kind of have a gravitational connection to them already, and then they're kids. It's not like they can really defend themselves like that, even though they do. They He's look not, out for each other. Does, but he, does he only kill children? He kills children. Yeah. Fuck. Yeah. So it's it's deep, man. Like he don't kill adults. No, but oh, they they eventually fuck. they grow up. So part two, they're gonna be they're gonna be growing up. So the losers club, they're gonna be adults and stuff. So so when they grow up. They're safe. It's still gonna be an ongoing battle. Yeah. And then you gotta think about the overcoming your fears and facing your fears because yeah. it kind of feeds off that. He feeds off of fear. Yeah. And he like when you're alone. I think there's right. something about being alone. Right. So that's why they're always in a pack. Always in a pack. Yeah. yeah. So the, the lucky seven is always together. That's how it was. That's what they call themselves the lucky yeah. seven. Mm -hmm. Losers okay. Club. Yeah. That makes sense. And they all come from different backgrounds. So and another cool thing about this film is that it's gonna be uh, diverse, man. There's gonna yeah, be yeah, kids yeah, yeah. in there that everybody's gonna be able to relate to. Yeah. And then you're coming off in nostalgia storytelling and uh, nostalgia filmmaking and then the classic story that was mm. written in the 80s is bringing all that to fruition because Stephen King is good at timeless stories and making them pretty relevant to today. It feels yes. old school, but it's new. Yes. And the thing about that is, it's like, everybody can relate to coming of age stories. But when you put love it them. in such a, like, a dark setting, them. it gets more interesting because it's like, okay, it's not, it's not a stand by me. It's not a one of the years, but it has that essence. Thank you. Yeah. If they establish that camaraderie of stand by me and then they go through the shit, yeah. I'm going to feel so invested in those little boys' safety. Sure. And I'm going to get so mad if they, or when they, yeah. perish. And another Bruh. cool thing, a little fun fact for you know Stephen King followers that know about the books and stuff. A lot of his stories are kind of um, in a shared cinematic same universe because all his stories take place in Stephen King's hometown, Maine. Mm. So, like, who's to say that this won't tie into maybe Dark Tower or whatever other reincarnation they might do with Stephen King? Because there is a universe in between. If you look at the films and, like, read his books, they connect in some kind of way. It's almost like a continuous story, but of different events and different characters at different times. Mm. But they all do kind of interconnect, which is kind of interesting. If he wanted to make his own universe, he could. He could. Like, he, and, it, and it would be organic. It wouldn't be forced or anything because... We That's were, the way he written we've already it in got his the books. films, right? And, and we, we are, he's already got the foundation. Can, and we can already connect the dots based on the films we've exactly. already seen. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. This trailer was this trailer was nice. At, sure, at, it, it, it gave it, it didn't give away too much. No, it didn't. It showed us. It did it, it right. It showed us just enough Pennywise. It did it right. And it didn't give away any story elements, any plot really. It just gave us basically the, what was up. This 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 clowns killing kids. That's how you. That's how you do a trailer. I, I like how Warner Brothers is doing ah. this. Um, they didn't oversell it. They gave you just enough to let you know, okay, this is it. We're coming at it with a new angle. Here's Pennywise. Here are the kids. Those These are the cinephiles. Eyes, bro. Those eyes. We still need something for you guys to focus oh, on when the movie comes out. So I, I like that. They gave us just enough, and and they kept the tone and they kept it focused. The trailer was very focused. It wasn't all yeah. over the place. They didn't oversell it. Yeah. They gave us just enough and just and then they closed it out yeah. perfectly. So I'm very glad about that. And, I, and I'm happy that we're getting a part one and a part two because I, I'm also excited to see 
who's going to play these kids as adults. They they did an interview with the cast members from Stephen King's It and mm-hmm. uh, at the Comic Con. It was a Fandango, I believe. And these kids are good. They they watch a lot of movies. It it was very interesting and fascinating to hear who they wanted to play the adult versions of themselves. Tight. It was dope. Like Tight. I leaking, bro. Like the actor, <laughs> buckets. The actors. Yeah, buckets. Hey, the actors they picked. I was like, yeah, that'd be cool, Mike. Because now you're elevating it. If you're gonna do that with the sequel, if you get guys like that, so when like. Names that came up was like Joseph Gordon-Levitt, uh, Chris Pratt came up, and then they, I forgot the other three though. But I was like, hey, that's that's cool enough. I mean, because Chris is still a fresh face, uh-huh. Joseph Gordon-Levitt in something like this, I could see him in something like yeah. this. So I mean, and then you got to think of the friendship, all the years that they've been friendship, there. yeah, them growing up. You know, like they're still kind of being close. Some may have family, some went off to do, have their own careers, and mm. some have lost their way with the group. So it's gonna be a change when that part two comes out because some of the group does the part but then they do come back and they, they have kind of like a reunion. I gotta bring this TV, uh, made for TV movie for Jody Joe, man. I, I wanna see so you get the foundation of what it is so you'll be even extra excited for it because again, it's the characters that we connect, Cause, cause it's the characters, it's, bro. It's, it's that stand by me, yeah. uh, lean on me, Stranger Things, uh, Goonies yeah. feel, you know what I'm saying? That that, that that'll following, lure me in. You're following a group of people, not only in their youth, but later on in their life in the future. Like, where, yeah. where are they now in their yeah, careers? Like, yeah. what are they doing now? Yeah. So that's fascinating. When you approach a sequel like that, it's like, all right, they actually have a legitimate reason to come back. We want to know what happened to them after all them years. It's not yeah. just like, oh, a cash cow. Yeah. Like, we're here and we want to know what happened to the Lucky Seven. So it's a connection on all ends. Like, I love that. Yeah. So that's dope, man. This movie looked tight. It's yeah. Day one, I will be there with you in the theater. That's the promise is still kept. We gonna and I'm gonna review with him, man. I, you I got it. Got review with me. I, I gotta do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, I, it's official, man. I love Stephen King, man. Me I'm too. A, I mean, we're both huge Stephen King fans. The man can almost do no wrong. I mean, he's had I some just, missteps, but he's had some. He's yeah. had some missteps, but still, I, I trust him. And you tell me that Stephen King's making a film. We're there. I'm running. Yeah. I'm coming. I'm to actually see it. rereading the book again before the movie comes out. So Fuck. I'm like I'm halfway into it. I'm like chapter <laughs> ten. So Tight. yeah, shout out to the Mist on Spike TV, man. Y'all need to tune in to that. It's dope. <sighs> I don't know what the freak I'm lagging. It's like on, seven man. episodes in. Free. Spike TV, man. They doing it. Is it good? Yes. It continues right after the movie. It does. <laughs> really? Come on. Does it show that? Come on. No, it doesn't show it, but they let you know. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah. Fuck, I didn't see that shit. All right, no. freaking. That's our take on this It trailer. Oh, yeah. Shit is lit. It's tight. I can't wait to see it. At the same time, I'm terrified. That clown got me scared. I'm, I'm happy for uh, the director, <laughs> uh, Andres Muschietti. I'm a big fan of him. Uh, check out Mama if you've never seen it. Uh, that's one of his like, earlier movies. Mama. Check yeah. out Mama. Thank you guys for watching. Put down in the comment section what you guys think about this. What do you guys think about how they did the trailer? You think they gave away too much or was it just enough? I'd like to know down below. Remember, if you like the real content and awesomeness, subscribe to the channel now. Get notified when we go live. Yes. Hit that notification button. I'd like to thank Ron Joe Genji, a.k.a. Mr. Terrific. Yeah. Right. Yes. I'm Jody Joe. We are two parts of the Just Us League. Friendship. And we out this thing. <laughs> out this thing, man. This is... <laughs> <laughs> you be killing me. Friendship. Uh, what, what is it? What is it? What is the one? Oh, triple. <laughs> Killer. Triple. Triple. <laughs>